Hi there, my name is Matt Cole, co-producer of the Sex Experts Podcast, along with my great friend Brian Garrity. Before we begin, I'm going to give a huge thanks to our guest on this episode. It took us a while, but finally we have Brad McMurrin, one of the founding members of The Pushers, as well as the Push Comedy Theater in Norfolk, Virginia. He is one hell of a performer, actor, friend, mentor to me and Brian. We love this guy. We are so glad that he's finally on here for our 50th episode. Woohoo! We made it to 50. We would like to give a huge thanks to everyone who made this podcast possible. Uh, special thanks to Rafael Henriquez for being our very first guest in our pilot. We're going to have him back on the show soon enough. A very special thanks to Derek Munn of MrMunn.com. He just revamped his webpage. He is the designer of all of our wonderful artwork. A very special thanks to Sky Zintz, who did our theme song, which is so catchy. I have it stuck in my head right now. And a very special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. So that would be Sandy Carden, Bobby Mercer, Anna Sosa, and oh, 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 Matt Holman. If you are a longtime listener of this podcast and you feel like you can throw us a dollar or two, go to patreon.com backslash sexpertspodcast and you can be part of our fan club. Once again, a very special thanks to Brad McMurrin, the Push Comedy Theater, and all of our listeners out there. Let's get another 50 episodes going. Without further ado, everything you're about to hear is made up on the spot, so please enjoy this next sex episode of The Sex Experts. Turn on your computer, dial up the web, download some information into your head. It's Dr. John and Delilah, they're having a great time, uh, that had to do it simply true with. And intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there. Welcome to The Sexperts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, CPM. And I'm Delilah Haydair, a home repair workaround expert. Absolutely. And uh, we're coming to you live right now at uh, Emerald Lagazzi's Kitchen. Uh, he's invited us to uh, one of his stores that he's opening uh, in the Keys, the Florida Keys. And we're, we're so excited, not only because we're here in Limer- I- Emerald Lagazzi. Am I getting that right? Yeah, Emerald Lagazzi. Le- Le- Emerald Fagazi. <laughs> okay, I think we need help. Um, but I have just delivered my 1,000th baby as a certified professional midwife. And I am so excited. I'm so happy. And uh, I, I got my certification back. So, um, so we're all happy. We are all happy. Uh, oh, but I, I forgot to talk about we are the sex experts. And we're here uh, to talk to you about sex, basically, right? Yeah, ins, outs, ups, downs, lefts, rights. Um, yeah. You know, greasing things up, all, everything. <laughs> and we have a very special guest and very special uh, topic today, which I will introduce right now. Um, follow along with this logic, uh, Delilah. Here we go. All right, break it down for me. Okay, so um, buddies. So like you and I are buddies. Okay, Best and then of. <laughs> and then sex. Okay. Uh huh. Put them together. Who do you have? Are you trying to fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's called bud sex. Bud, oh, bud sex. sex yeah so you know when two heterosexual uh buddies have sex together but it's totally not homosexual at all it's called bud sex b-u-d hyphen s-e-x yes a lot of millennials are doing it these days i don't get it but we will explore it t- to the end of times let's dig deep let's dig deep being the bud sex um but speaking of uh digging deep let's actually get to our guest because he's actually salivating over here in the corner there hi there sir hi Yo, uh, how you doing? <laughs> uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to our listeners out there? Uh, uh, my friends call me Lemon. Lemon. Lemon, tell our listeners uh, <laughs> what your background is. Uh, why are you coming here? Uh, w- w- what's your story? I'm coming here to tell you about I'm tired of the way people treat the mail. <laughs> are you a mail worker? Do you work for the U- USPS? Or? Yes, I'm a post yeah. officer worker. <laughs> <laughs> a post officer. <laughs> a post office worker. Okay. Yeah, I heard officer, but um, it, it, you don't have a firearm, correct? Sir? I don't. No, right, I don't. Right. I don't carry any firearms. Great. I'm just a post officer. Good. Post. I do a lot of mail. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how? What's the way that people are mistreating the mail? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked that. We've been having a lot of problems with uh, people come to me and they say, you know, the mail comes out. Mm-hmm. I send it in the morning, and I say, of course you would, because that's when most people would get up and do their mail. Yeah. And when they come to me, they often ask the question. Well, why does it take three days? And I stare at him. I say, do I look like I would know an answer like that? <laughs> All I know is I pick up the mail and I put it where the next person goes. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. There is a chain of fucking command. 
And I am at the low end of this totem pole. So what I would like to tell to you yeah. folks is I'm yeah. here to tell you right now, yeah. I feel your pain. Thank there are you. days that I want to have my paycheck given to me. Uh, uh, me. But nobody done giving me in. That makes complete, perfect sense. Yeah. And I'm with you completely, step mm. by step. It just... It sounds more like they're mistreating the male workers and not the male itself. No, that's mm-hmm. not true. Uh, that's the second part of my point I wanted to bring up. Uh, people now do what they call email. Oh, and what yeah, happens yeah. to me yeah. as a male man right. is that nobody – you think about an email. You probably – you're on the computer box. I, I, don't, I don't download much, but uh, – Yeah, you're on a, but you have a computer box, and sure, you have a computer sure. box. Yeah. Would you agree? I do. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, now think about this. I want you all to ride on a ride with me right now. Yeah. And you think about this, there's a lot of people that you got to clean out your mail and email, from what I understand. I don't have a computer box, but they got to clean it out. <laughs> Nobody doesn't clean out their mailbox no more. So Jesus when I come Christ. up and I open a mailbox and I look in there, I'm like, you think I care about your Janello's pizza? <laughs> okay. And I, I completely agree with this, and I'm yeah. with you step by step. But now it sounds like they're mistreating their mailboxes. But I still haven't heard any well, that mistreatment. That comes to the part, the, no, number three, <laughs> if I may say to you, and I appreciate it. I feel like you just keep cutting me off here, and I'm not getting my points across, is the point number three yeah. is that I have been noticing that people, when yeah. they don't enjoy the mail they get, yeah. let's, call it a, let's call it a bill. Somebody sends you a bill from Cox Cable, and yeah. they're like, God damn, bill's coming. <laughs> And they rip up the they rip up the mail right there. Yeah. The problem is, is there's a little postage stamp but you look on there that says return to center. <laughs> How are they gonna have an envelope now? You're wasting your own money, and more importantly, why litter? <laughs> Next day, I gotta walk in there and see that shit. So as a mailman, I'm yeah. a little, I'd say, a little more than upset. Lemon don't play. It's so great that you care so much about the United States Postal Service. I'm glad I, you said that. Probably that a lot of your up. a lot of your colleagues probably don't feel the same sort of way, right? My colleagues, yeah. they're good people, but I promise this, uh, to, the, to, to, the, to, to the bottom of my soul, all they do yeah. is work for the weekend. Nah. I'm working for the week, and I'm working <laughs> for you. <laughs> I'm working for you. Thank do, you, so. Do you have uh, a lot of buddies that, uh, that you work with? Do I? Like friends, pals, buddies? Yeah, I, Wait. Wait, where are, you, are you setting up our topic of the day? Putting it on a tee. <laughs> Bud Putting sex. it on a tee. Yeah, let's talk about Bud sex. And I'm glad that you're here. You can probably give a, a unique perspective to Bud sex because you're actually working through I miss, physical. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Miss Elementary School. Why is that? Because you could get a Nutty Buddy ice cream cone for 25 cents. That's such a deal. And my parents would give me a dollar ten for lunch, four Nutty Buddies, one meal. Would you eat all of them like that? Oh, yeah. That brings me to point number four. <laughs> we had, you remember as a kid, we yeah. all, I imagine y'all went to, sc- to grade school. I was a kid once. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, bused to a... Uh, mm. to, Private school? To a primarily Asian school. Oh, you were probably in the 23703 area. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I understand where that is. But I'm going to tell you this right now. There is no <laughs> doubt about point number four is when it comes down to it. You, got to, you were taught how to write a letter. You were like, dear... Yeah. Sir, sir or madam. Mm-hmm. There you go. And you have the, 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 the comma that comes after yeah. it. And then you do the body. And then you say, you know, sincerely or love. You do salutation. Whatever it is you think you do. <laughs> Why would you mistreat a piece, of, a piece of, of paper like that? That could mean a lot to somebody. You Maybe should, that Cox Gable man that wrote you, <laughs> wrote you that bill cared about you. This is so informative. Have you ever thought about like going on air, like your own radio show or like uh, PBS, like Children's Hour? Just lemon, lemon on lemon. What's a good uh, title for this? Lemon, lemon teaches kids. Lemon don't play. Lemon don't play. Lemon don't play. He, he already said it. Yeah, lemon don't play. <laughs> but also, I would say I don't know. Maybe enjoying lemons. <laughs> when when life gives you lemons, you t- call lemon. <laughs> Talk to us about your name, by the way. We, we haven't called out the elf in the room. Is it just Lemons? Do you have a last name? How did your parents pick this name for you? It's a family name. Really? So, yeah. like, your granddad was Lemon? Yeah, he's Mr. Lemon. Lemon and his, my father was also Mr. Lemon. And then I'm a. Uh, Lemon I'm, the Third. I'm, I'm Walter Lennon, Lennon, Lemon the Third. <laughs> Oh, Walter. Mm, I don't like being called that, though. I'm Lemon. Uh, we, we won't call you Walter then. Okay. So, if I were addressing a letter to you. Would it? Would the envelope say Mr. Walter quote Lemon unquote? Why in the hell would there be quotes in there? <laughs> Cause Cause just like, tell me, like, do I, what, what is your name, sir? Do you mind if I ask your name? Delilah, hey there. Hey there. How do you spell your last name? H a y d a i r e. Okay. Imagine if I said Delilah, hey there, and put the quotes over that. Would you look at me like I was a crazy man? Yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah, I guess I would. Uh, Although you look fairly sinky. Talk about us about what you're wearing right now. <laughs> right now, I'm wearing yeah. my mailman outfit. I only wear the shorts. <laughs> That's very interesting. I mean, it's hot down here in Florida, so I guess you have to like sweat it out. So they probably can't force you to wear a shirt. It's just the the shorts. I mean, uh, I've been having some problems. I've been getting some complaints, but I'm going to tell you right now. I, I think y'all rather get the mail the mail get there expediently. Yeah, but if Emerald comes out, you might want to throw a shirt on because he's got that strict no shirt no <laughs> service policy. Emerald. Uh- Emerald Live. Emerald Live. Oh, well, speaking of uh, no shirt um, policy, we will talk about bud sex because that's our topic of the day. Um, but before I get to the topic, I actually want to talk about because... Uh, Did you say bud sex? Bud sex, yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I, I will talk to you about the buddy system. We have in the mailman system where if one man's down, remember, you, you know the old saying, if it rains, sleeps, sons of science, <laughs> somebody's going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking. <laughs> so, do you have like a partner? This is weird. Do you have a beat and like a partner? I have like a cops? very good friend. Yeah, I have a very good friend. Cool, Nathan. Wow. Uh, either one. Hey, of you dog. Ever, I was about to say dog. Uh, either one of you ever gotten taken out by a dog yeah. and had to fill in for the other had to fill in? Yeah. What kind of dog? Uh, it was a, a, a mutt. It was a mix mm-hmm. between a uh, um, Alaskan terrier. <laughs> In a uh, shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean like a German. I don't. I don't know dogs all that well. Just an That's actual good. man. That- I just would still would like to get back to a few points. I was <laughs> I was brought here under the guise that we would be talking about some of the problems. That's true. So actually, Delilah doesn't know this, but uh, we actually uh, we were writing back and forth. You were a fan mm. of the show, and you mm. actually wrote me a physical ma- piece of mail, of which I took did. months and months to get to me. How long did it take you? That see, this is what's driving. Why me does crazy. it take so long? It should. That's not something you want to ask me. There's a chain of command here. Who should I funny? ask? Who's the top? Is that the postmaster general? Who's that? Who's that, that? Is the number one man? I mean, when he comes into a room, we all stand at attention, <laughs> shirt or no shirt. Preferably with their shirt, though, right? Uh, he must have some rules. He, I would put one on for the man. He's a good man. He um, fought in the war. <laughs> The male is that war? where he, is that where he rose? Like was this <laughs> war heroics? What led him to become the general? Yeah, he used to be a colonel master, postmaster, colonel master. <laughs> That's pretty close. Um, are you are you friends with him? Or I've met him three times in wow. person. And did you um, go into the post ser- postal service um, on your own, like voluntarily, or were you drafted into the postal service? <laughs> <laughs> it's a calling. Yeah, it's a call, and I remember the day when I was younger when everybody, uh, um, you remember when, uh, we're around that time now, when Christmas would come, and somebody yeah. wouldn't take care of your package, you would come oh. in, and you'd get a, a candy that was smashed. Yeah. Chocolates melted. Yeah. I'm sorry. Chocolates melted. Chocolate. Oh, chocolates melted. I <laughs> yeah. thought he said smelted like a I sword. I smelted as well. <laughs> I'm like, I've never seen that. But I promise you, if it were smelted, see, that, that would I be something I'd take care of. <laughs> Where I'd ask the man. A lot of times when people send me yeah. mail, I'll go to their yeah. house and ask them how they wanted it to smell <laughs> and how they wanted it to look before I give it to the other person so they don't get a return to sender. That's and this this is so we've been mailing back and forth. I had no idea how intense your job was, how seriously you take it. So it thank- goes to Richmond. So it goes from here in Norfolk, Virginia, up to Richmond to come back to Norfolk, Virginia. I don't agree with it either, but that's actually a fact. Do you know anybody at the the, uh, the post offices in uh, Richmond? Are they slackers there? What's the the vibe? They're the number one. The problem is I do r- I ride there every day, oh. so I go any- back and forth at the end of the day because I feel like I need to do my duty. <laughs> do they have anyone up there named after any type of citrus? <laughs> like, yes, like lemon. No, there are no more lemons in the mail factory. <laughs> but I'll I promise you there there are all, yeah. uh, there are a couple of tangerines. <laughs> oh wow. wow! What is tangerine like? Uh, they're a little more lax. They're from uh, they're up north. <laughs> yeah, they're a little more lax. Uh, down here in the south, everybody mm-hmm. thinks we're slower, but we actually we care about the mail. Very intense. God. It, it's a buddy system. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, yeah. Speaking of buddy system, oh yeah, speaking of buddy system, uh, let's talk about bud sex. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's not necessarily a homosexual thing. And you haven't asked me one pro- question about what I do. Oh living. my god! I'm so sorry, Deli. Yeah, let's get to uh, what. Do, what are you doing right now? Well, I'm so interested in lemon. You know, one of the reasons my wife left me was I'm not handy around the house. Yeah, but what I've managed to do is I've lived in the same house for 12 years without yeah. fixing anything. <laughs> I have workarounds 
for yeah. everything. So the oven doesn't work. Yeah. You use the toaster oven. Okay. The, there's no hot water. You We have a fix for that. So basically what I've done <laughs> is for other men who aren't handy, yeah. rather than pay a fortune to get a handyman to come and fix things, I come to your house and for a fraction of the price, I help you come up with clever workarounds. <laughs> that sounds... You live at 221... Uh... Uh, Leighton late Road, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, with the Jack Russell. I've seen you there. <laughs> yeah, I've been by your place. Yeah, it's a nice place. Like Is I said, I have to take the mail up from Florida all the way up to <laughs> Richmond, Virginia every day. <laughs> Don't yell at me. It's Jane McMahon. So you've actually, you have a lot memorized. You're actually a very smart man. I've When I was a young man, I yeah. read the phone book. <laughs> You're like the rain man of, of mail. Uh, well, I, we've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that you're good at what you do. From what I understand, you're probably good at that job. Oh yeah. God. Listen, um are are you married? Are you single? <laughs> you're giving me a tense stare right now. Not anymore. Oh. Uh sh- <laughs> Wow, sounds that- like life gave him an ex lemon. <laughs> You are turning red, sir. What's going on here? What's talk to us about what, what's going on? She was in the service, in the postal service. Yes. <laughs> Did she lose her life? She died in the in the war. <laughs> was that which war are we talking about here? Hey, I was raised by people that protested the postal service in the sixties. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. Why in the hell would you postal? Why would you? Why would you do that? They were a strange breed of hippie. <laughs> Listen, we got to. Uh, I have to ask, uh, since you're all kind of riled up here, tell us a little bit about your your late wife here. Her name was Marthune. Marthune. It's yes. a lovely name. It was a family name. Oh God. And we were uh, we met in the mail service. We met. We both had passions for things. The same thing. Tired of driving to Richmond every day. <laughs> in separate cars or together. <laughs> At first it was separate, but we were always going the same speed. <laughs> <laughs> so we would give each other the eye. You know, when we'd go through the towns where the, the interstate would make you go through a one town, you know, mainly in the 1308 zone. And uh, anyway, it was one day that we ended up having yeah. to stop because uh, there was a problem with the car and that yeah. sort of policy. You know, if one man's down, you never leave him behind. Buddy system. Yeah. Keep going. Not bud sex, but keep going. And Mothoon, we, we we met. We were in uh, we were near Richmond actually. Yeah. And when we were up there we, we knew it was love at first sight. We kept oh. giving each other letters back and forth. <laughs> so we would drive down because we, we do drive the same speed. So when we go back down to Florida we would stop occasionally and just yeah. get out and hand a, a car to each other. But That's it would still sweet. be post stamped and post marked. <laughs> <laughs> and uh she moved up the ranks. She became a. She she was she she got a better rank than I did because she was a female. And, ev- <laughs> and eventually, one of those letters said, "Will you marry me?" Oh, <gasps> we married. Yeah. Oh my um, god. I I did write that and I sent it in. And it was a lovely for a while. It lasted. Uh, yeah. The problem was is that uh, she picked up a a real taste for for postal <laughs> war. <laughs> Insatiable appetite <laughs> for postal destruction. Yeah. Good God. Wow, I'm I, I I'm feeling you. I mean, really, like that is that is a love. You need to write a book, sir. Oh, uh, or, or a tough. musical. <laughs> <laughs> Marthune, did she take the lemon name? Was it Marthune Lemon? Or? <laughs> <laughs> it was. She was Marthune Lemon. She was from a good family. She was. Uh, Don't tell me she was a tangerine. Mar- no. Marthune yeah. Lemon sounds like a point guard for the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> Say what you want, but she was a lovely lady. She oh. died. Uh, she died doing everything. Was she was a part of the old uh, sort of the Wells Fargo? Most people don't know that's a uh, that's a carriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm learning so much history here in uh, Emerald Lagavi. Emerald, that's a hard name. Emerald Lagavi. Mm. <laughs> Emerald Live. Emerald Live's kitchen. Uh, it's very busy back here, by the way. It smells very good. There's some some cooks. Walking back and forth. So they're making Rice Krispie treats. Rice Krispie treats. She died. <laughs> Marthune died? Marthune died. It was the worst day of my life, December 13th, 1991. God, so that's, I don't want to say it, but that's December 13th is my birthday. Isn't there an expression that old postal workers never die? <laughs> <laughs> they just... They just mail away. <laughs> oh, God. 
Uh, tell us about the day she died, please. Uh, I want to hear. If you don't mind, I, I, I heard. It, I heard it took her three days to die. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, he's actually right. Okay. Technically, yeah. She she got sick. Well, she she got, got sick hit. in Norfolk and then had a we had to drive her hospital down. in Richmond. And then we went oh. back down. We had to take her down to Florida. Oh God. Yeah. For the fresh air. Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> and the well, they have oranges down there too. It's good. It was good for her to smell. Uh, anyway, I, we've gotten dark. All I'm going to say to you is that it's been a love, like uh, a lot of love. Yeah. has been in the postal service. And I just hope that people give back. Oh well, tell oh, us about how yeah, we can give back can to the USPS. Buddy system. <laughs> Wait. You no, know, just like Marthoon and I would ride up the, the, that yeah. whole, you know, coming up the highway, we would yeah. come next to each other. There would never be a time where we wouldn't come next to each other. We were always driving next door, and it. You think about that kind of love yeah. you have there. That's a buddy system. Well, uh, when when yeah. Doctor John and I were planning this podcast, yeah. I said, "Hey, I'm not doing this alone. We're going to implement a buddy system. Hey, <laughs> we're going to co-host this. We're thing. never going to do this the thing without each other. Yeah, and mm. we're kind of like your your Marthoon. I'm the Marthoon. You're the lemon, I guess. Right, Delilah? Yeah. <laughs> Marthoon and lemon. That's my lemon impression. <laughs> All right. So, what's in the future for you? I'm thinking about getting out of the business. What? What? Yeah. Why? There's too much pain. I can't uh, drive up to Richmond every day and not see Martha. And, you know. God. Yeah. I, but it, but it sounds like it, this is your passion. Why would you? Why would you? Uh, UPS has called me. <laughs> oh come on now. Oh. They have called me. Are they offering you more money? What, what are they offering you? It's not about money. It's the mm-hmm. memories. If you could think about the days that Marthoon and I, you know, I, her last name was Harpoon. <laughs> Marthoon Harpoon? It was a rhyming oh. thing. But what was great about it is she harpooned my heart. Oh. When, when you talk about, like, she knew every zip code there was yeah. in the business. She That's hot. Yeah. That's yeah. hot. Oh, God. She had your talents. Oh, what a story! Again, I think you need to a musical or a book or even like a script or something. Like this story needs to be told. Are you crying? I'm sorry. Can you get her? Get him one of those napkins over there, please. Oh, these are really nice napkins. <laughs> they are. They have emeralds initials <laughs> engraved on. Lemon, lemon. It, it'll be okay, lemon. Lemon. What can we get for you? What would you like, lemon? lemon we're at your disposal. I've got, a, I've got a book of forever stamps that I'd like to give to you. That is the kindest thing anybody has ever done. Because your your love, like forever stamps, is forever. Look, like I said, I was under the impression we were coming here to talk about mail. Y'all yes, got please. real. Let's talk about um uh actually well Let's talk about mail on mail. Mail on mail <laughs> or bud sex. Uh oh oh wow, actually they're they're closing down what it, they're actually saying there's a there's an E. coli break breakout here. Ooh, so we actually we can't talk about bud sex today. I'm so sorry, uh, Lemon. I know you were you were very excited about talking about bud sex and the buddy system, but listen, we, we can't. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll have to postpone this. There's, maybe there's only one sex in the in the, in, in the male system. What is that? Male. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we could do another episode sometime in Richmond. Absolutely. Or, or, yeah. Would, would you meet Florida. us uh, uh, up in Richmond? Because we won't be mm. in Florida very very much longer. You yeah, know, like I'd love to beer. do that. Remember though, when you do that kind of thing, remember to lick your stamps fully. <laughs> End to end, end to end. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lemon uh, Walter Lemon the Third. You have been such a great guest. Uh, we appreciate your service and, and a great husband to Marthun. And yeah, I'm saluting you. I'm saluting Marthun as well. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Do you have any uh, last minute thoughts uh, to our listeners out there? I just say that if you could remember, we're people too. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm crying I, right now. I think we should add a. Um, there's already a Veterans Day. There should be a Mail Service Veterans Day. We Absolutely. Call it All right. So the Ekai. The there are people in biohazard suits. We're gonna have to get out of uh, Emeril Lagazi's kitchen right now. But thank you so much, Lemon. Uh, we are your sex experts. I am Dr. John T. Alanese, CPM. And I'm uh, Delilah Haydar. <laughs> and uh, don't fix it. Don't fix it. We'll work around it. We'll work around it. See you sex time. Bye bye. <laughs> That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters. Bye-bye.